Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to hide files or folders using the command prompt or PowerShell. Preferably command prompt. One of the commands doesn't work in PowerShell. I'll point that out when we get down there. So basically what you need to know is you can hide an individual file, as you can see here, or all files and subfolders. And that is repeated with different code, which I will link to in the video description, so that you can copy and paste it to hide, unhide, or list. So the first thing we want to do is start the command prompt up. Uh, I like the Windows key plus S, type in CMD. You do not need administrator mode, just click it. And once that comes up, let's start by hiding the hidden folder. We should take a note here now before we move forward that it depends on your view. So right here you see the view in File Explorer, click your options and then go down to the view tab and you have to have don't show hidden files folders or drives for example you see the lighter color here that's hidden that lighter color hidden everything else isn't so watch when I hit apply these two folders will disappear there you go so now we're not showing hidden files folders or drives so you're gonna want to do that otherwise we're wasting our time so let's uh, hide the hidden folder this is all you need right here a trib plus H and then put in the path to the file or folder so in this case we'll do hidden let's let's hide the text file hidden dot text whoops yeah I'm gonna make a lot of typos man there there's no uh, bells or whistles it just does it and you can tell by my hidden text is gone now that you've done that as you can see the slight differences I explained to you was Here's your attrib, the path to the file or folder. If you want to hide all the subfolders as well, you'll do almost the exact same thing. You'll just add forward slash S, forward slash D to hide everything inside of a folder. So let's see if we can see it before we restore it. We can do that by changing to the directory. Copy and paste this right here, dir space forward slash A semicolon H. And let's go CD... Uh, hidden that's the folder copy and paste control V press enter and you should see hidden dot text it's not here but that's how you see it now as I mentioned this is the one place PowerShell does not work I got an error message doing only this one in PowerShell so if you're a PowerShell junkie go ahead and use it unless you need to oh, I'm sorry I pointed the wrong thing unless you need to use this there you go. Well, let's get my file back now so I can see it. And to unhide an individual file, once again, pretty simple. Copy this part right here. And then come over here. And we're typing in, in this case, the direct path to the folder and the file that we want to see again. Press enter. Once again, you don't know anything until you, there it is simple as that and again if you want to change it and I wanted to say everything inside of the hidden folder maybe I've got four or five subfolders a bunch of files stuff you want to hide away a pile of it you're gonna do the exact same thing up here to hide it with this and just do the same thing and put the forward slash s forward slash d in simple as that pretty neat but again remember it's obviously not the most secure thing in the world if you don't have your view options set correctly otherwise like I said we're kind of wasting our time boy that was pretty easy went a lot faster than I thought it would but just one of those neat ways where you can do something inside of Windows and not have to download a program to hide it and stuff like that so there you go thanks for watching down here in the bottom a little major geeks logo should pop up you click that you can subscribe to our page we do appreciate that tons of new subscribers lately awesome uh, click like if you like the video Leave a comment, whatever you want. I'd like to hear from you. And as always, we really appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you 